Hi, I'm Leslie from Holly Tree Caravan Adventures. I'm quite new to this, so you'll have to excuse my basic videoing. Um, I've done one video before, which is on YouTube, um, about the caravan. So this is an Eldis Avanti 840 Magnum GT, which is a dealer special. It's the eight foot wide caravan, um, and I think it's just a bit longer than eight meters long. So it's quite a whopper of a caravan. I think it's about as big as they come. Um, so really, it's just saying what we like, what we don't like. I may do future videos on where we go. So we have to see where we go, pitch sizes. Today's video is just really going to show you inside the caravan and inside the cupboard. So the storage, what I use them for and what we like and dislike about it and to be honest there's a lot more likes and dislikes we're really pleased with the caravan um it, we've had it a year now so we've used it several times there's always issues with caravans as everyone that tows a caravan knows there's always an issue last time our electric cable from the caravan to the car was dragging on the road while we were driving and we hadn't realized we hadn't tied it up properly so when we got to our destination we had no electrics so that was a, an emergency call out there's been lots of other little things like that with our previous caravan as well but you get through them and we just love caravanning so let me show you around i need to flip so my this picture. is the inside of the elder savanti 840 here we go there's the nice u-shaped dinette this does make up into um, another double bed so you can potentially have three double beds in here but we choose never to use it there's only four of us two adults two kids uh, the boys are now 15 and um 12 i had to think about that so yeah these flaps here and here lift out table lowers and makes into another bed i'll just go directly up to this end and we'll start at this end so there's the it's nearly a double, nearly a double bed. It's a little cosy, but if you get on okay, that's good. We do. Um, it's quite comfortable. We've just bought a memory foam topper for it because we found that the right hand side was a little bit, um, there's like a, a hinge here. So the whole thing lifts up and it's got big, big storage area underneath. Um, it's a little bit firm on that edge and you feel like it's tipping you into the middle. So we're hoping the uh, topper will work. I'll let you know next time. We have five cupboards in total around the bed area. Um, there's a little TV point there as well. We, we haven't had a TV on that yet. All of these don't have shelves inside. So I have bought these little wire rack shelves. You just get them from Home Bargains or B&M or somewhere like that. And they do the job. It just means I can separate my clothes a bit. Otherwise you end up with a bit of a pile that you keep pulling out. In, in the back ones, I've just got some hair straighteners, spare reading books. They're really not full. They're quite awkward to get to. Two little shelves there. Put my reading glasses on. Wouldn't like to say I'd trust putting a cup of water up there in case you banged it in the night. But uh, I suppose you could. I'll take you into the bathroom now. So it's a side bathroom next to the bed. It's not a bad size, really. It's amazing what they can cram into a caravan. Well, I've left the, I've left the cupboard doors open here, so let's show you in the cupboard. So this is the uh, cupboard under the sinks. So it's really, it's quite a pretty, hello, hello. Uh, it's quite a pretty, pretty sink, stylish. And we've managed to get all four towels. We use the microfiber towels. They feel a bit weird on your skin, but they do dry quickly. And when you're camping, I think you'll all agree, it's uh, good to dry quick. Little cabinet up here, kind of uh, narrow, but again, great storage. I find that this caravan has bags of storage and you've sort of got a little useful area there. Pan round to the shower. And oh, it's not a bad size shower, just take you in a bit closer to show you that. So it's kind of, you know, Got everything you need we try to use the shower block and then if i go around here so you've got your mirror with lights above and your towel 
back out into the caravan. Um, I haven't got the lights on in here, but there's some really nice lighting features around the mirror and um, around the, the back of the bed all lights up. I'll put them on in a minute to show you. Here we go, we've got a useful storage cupboard above the microwave. It's pretty big. Uh, we put a, normally put a water carrier in there as well. Nothing in this caravan's ever full. None of the cupboards are ever full because there's so many. Microwave and the fridge. Just show you the fridge. So it's a nice, let's move back a bit, it's a bit tight. There we go. Nice big fridge. Two, two shelves on the door and you have a shelf in there which is kind of double what our old caravan used to have fridge wise so it's really nice excuse me if you see blue nails on the hairdresser and I've been using the silver shampoo on people and it's stained my nails so if I shut the bathroom door pan round here and I will open my wardrobes for you and the drawers so let's show you this I'll stand back so you've got there's actually two drawers in true form my husband's given me none of his clothes to pack yet so it's just mine in here at the moment so I've got in there there's all my tops hanging up a couple of dresses there is oh three pairs of jeans three pairs of shorts and a couple of jumpers in there and there's still room and I've got a couple of pairs of shoes and a beach bag. Just shut that. So again, ample storage because we don't really put anything of the children's in there unless they want, um, unless they've got a shirt or something. But they tend to just wear t-shirts, so I fold them up. If I pan round here now, we'll do this bit. So this is again U-shaped dinette. I'm just on my driveway at home at the moment. We're just getting ready to. Uh, pack up for a holiday so lightweight stuff cereals kitchen roll spare bits and bobs you know napkins and all that up in the top there bread lightweight stuff biscuits cakes that tends to be what I put in there and of course some marshmallows for the children's s'mores on the fire you've got to do that haven't you we're going away with lots of friends and there's lots of children this is my favourite cupboard. I'm not sure why. I don't believe there's only four of us going away, is there? There we go. Good to so be prepared, I say. Then, I haven't showed you this end of the caravan, so if I step back, we pan round. Pull back a little bit so you can see. That's the um, other end of the caravan. And we've got this uh, the kitchen area too. Now, um... These two benches are six foot long, so the boys sleep on them like two single beds. This here removes, so the one son who's a little bit taller, he lays out and he can dangle his feet over the end if he needs to. Um, this is Winnie, this is Toby's bear, named after his nan, his late nan, great nan, my nan. So let's show you the two cupboards above the front seat in here. These are for my two sons and they literally have the whole week's clothing. Other than coats, we have, let's show you, we have t-shirts, underwear, trousers, caps, swimwear and nightwear. It's amazing. I can't believe I've got a whole week's worth of clothes. Of course, as parents, you'll know that once we've been away a few days, everything can now be screwed up and will barely fit. But for now, I'm quite proud of my packaging skills. So that's those two cupboards. Panning round the front drawers. It's a little bit sunny in here now. It was pouring with rain earlier. And now we've got bright sunshine. So it's good. the camera's not picking up this very well. Bits and bobs. Sunglasses. Old games that we used to play but probably haven't for a while. And at the bottom, there's like a little open up locker. That's great storage. We've got a spare little barbecue, so that's for the marshmallow cooking. Oh, citronella candles, spare cables. You always have to have a lot of spare stuff in the back of the caravan, just in case. Because you never know what you might need. And finally, this is the uh, two lockers above 
the other side. So you've got your, oh, it's so sunny in there, sorry. You've got your radio and TV stuff there, aerial. We have spare cables, we've got some lights. In that one we've got DVDs and there's a box of face masks from last year. Hope we don't need those this year. Depends what happens with monkeypox now, apparently. And there's uh, the outdoor lights for the awning. Pan around. Kitchen. Now, there is a drainer that goes with this. Um, but sort of, you know, it comes on here and it takes up most of the space. Well, we're already will have had all the dirty crockery will be there and the kettle and the tea and everything. So we bought ourselves this. We, we rarely use the oven. We tend to cook on the Kadak outside, whether it be a barbecue or we have a pile of dish. So we do curries, we do all sorts. Bought this little drainer and this is quite cool, this little drainer. It, um, let's have a look, it extends out, I don't know if I can show you with one hand, there we go, so it extends out further than that and then you've got this little directional bit that drains all the water back into the sink, that's a, a Joseph drainer and you can get those on Amazon, probably other places too, let's show you up the top here, here you go, plates, plate rack, uh, moving along, blue nails sorry all the cups no shelves in these cupboards initially I was a little bit like oh I, I would have had two you know shelf glasses on one shelf and the bottom shelf but it's okay we, we manage and I do find that this caravan has bags of storage like I said earlier none of it is full because it just doesn't need to be Let me draw. And underneath, there we go. Big cupboard. So we tend to keep um, tins, all, all the food stuff that's heavier in there, cleaning stuff, tablets, first aid stuff, sun creams, soap, everything. So that's kind of uh, all in there. Sorry, that was a bit out of focus. Hopefully that's better. Bringing you round top drawer here. I don't normally take a rolling pin with us, but my husband's bought a pizza stone for the Kadak, so we're going to be having pizza. Next drawer is full of tea towels, bin bags, and all the other extra bits and bobs. And down here. Um, so that's quite a big cupboard too and you know we it is quite a big cupboard so I'll just put the heavier stuff in there lots and lots of sweets there for all the children I'll be uh, I'll be the pie piper of sweets underneath all the saucepans there we go let's just shut that up and we haven't used the oven yet oh we might have done croissants in it but we haven't actually cooked properly. I can't tell you what that is like, but I'm sure it's absolutely fine. So we do have an awning that we put on. We also have a canopy, and we prefer the canopy, to be honest, but it just depends what the weather's going to be like when you're away. But anyway, so I think that's all. It's got your nice roof lights. Um, sorry if this was a bit wobbly. I should invest in some better filming equipment, but at the moment, this is being done on my iPad. So, there we go.